welcome to a very special Greenock Morton weekly update as sponsored by Meet Tears, the auctioneers. Why is it special? Because I'm delighted to say that not only am I joined by the Morton Supporters Young Player of the Year, I'm also joined by the Players Young Player of the Year, and he is Lewis Strap. Lewis, many congratulations. Thank you very much. It's, a, it's an honour, I must say. Right. Over the moon. It's one thing to get it from the support, but also from your own teammates. Yeah, I obviously uh, thankful for all the fans who voted, and obviously the boys as well. Uh, seen that, and well, I did enjoy the season. Do you know what I mean I feel as if it was a good first season? Obviously, my first like real season playing games. So now nah, I've enjoyed it. Enjoyed playing. You see, this season is a bit of a breakthrough for you, yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Like obviously, I've said before, like when I've played other games in the season, it's never really been like like a run of games. It's always just been like a game here and there. Do you know what I mean even if I played well, I maybe wouldn't play the next week? We've talked before about your style of game. Uh, I know you like to get forward, but what I really like about you is you like a wee tackle, don't you? Yeah, obviously, I'm sure there's been a few things on Twitter said about it as well, but no. Nah, eh, I do enjoy the defending part of the game, which maybe is a little bit different compared to a lot of the boys around at these times, Johnny. You know I mean? Has there been a particular highlight for you this season? Uh, I've enjoyed, there's been a few results I've enjoyed. Uh, obviously, Partick Thistle, uh, when we won 3-2 at home, and then uh, Air away as well with a 2-1 victory. Uh, I enjoyed them, them two results. I also enjoyed Hibs. One of the, that's the three games I've enjoyed most, I think. Now, right now, obviously, in lockdown, how are you keeping yourself fit? It, it is hard, to be fair. Like, we're just uh, trying to keep ourselves busy, like, keep the, like, the, the numbers up on your running and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to, like, rotate it and try and mix it up as much as possible. Bro. But it's brutal knowing you're doing 7K. Do you know what I mean? Like, the next day, you're like, right, I'm doing 7K or an 8K or even just a 5K. You're just trying to mix up the runs, go different routes, obviously, because seeing the same scenery. It's all right in Dunoon, to be fair, because it's nice over here. Obviously, you can just disappear for the day. Yeah, cracking day if the weather's good, like everywhere else, I suppose. I mean, you're working on your fitness, obviously, but what about you know ball skills and things like that? Do you get a chance to work with a ball at all? Uh, I actually ordered uh, two extra balls the other day and a pump and that. Do you know what I mean? So, but like, usually I'd be playing with my brother and that, but he's away at work, so it's just uh, just getting down the park with my dad, and he's just trying to. <laughs> he's, he's he's horrendous, but. It's as good as it's going to get. Is he not your biggest critic? Uh, ah, he is, but <laughs> the, the standard he's doing when we're passing the ball about is not great, so I don't really think he can say much at the moment. OK, you're young, you're coming through. Is there anything <laughs> about your game you'd particularly like to improve? Uh, I would like to uh, improve on getting forward a lot, like maybe like beating boys and getting into the box and that, like maybe getting more chances and scoring, like, as you've seen, like Regan this this year, it's quite good to have him in the team because obviously he does like to get forward and it gives you a little bit of like I know he's a different position, but a little bit of competition. Like you see him scoring goals, like makes me want to get like that. Do you know what I mean? Now, obviously, there's a lot of players signed up for next season, which is a great start for the club. What are you anticipating for next season? I'm actually looking forward to next season. Like as you've seen, the way we've like finished the end, like the end of this, the last bit of the season there. Like uh, you see, we like we're, the results were really picking up a little bit of form. Obviously, like the start of the season, it was a we were all new, didn't really know each other. But I think you can see we're actually gelling now. So if we can keep keep a lot of the boys for next year, I think I think, think it will be a good season for us. To be fair, I've got to ask you before we go, what happened to your hair? <laughs> it was getting <laughs> oh, it was getting a mess. So I just got my mum and one all over, and then. I think a few of the boys in Dunoon did it for NHS, but I'd done it like five days later. I didn't have the, the balls to do it, you could say. But I've got, as you can see, I've got a wee blonde bit there. A few of the boys will jump on that. <laughs> Back in my day, we used to call it a Marlin streak, but I'll not go into that with you. Listen, thanks for joining us today. And again, double congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, it's an honour, obviously, again, to be voted for this. Cheers. Thanks a lot, Lewis. And thank you thank for joining us on this special edition of the Greenup Morton Weekly Update, as sponsored by Meteors, the auctioneers.